video is going to all be about tips and tricks for iMovie, how to edit like a pro, and how to do thumbnails for your YouTube videos. <laughs> channel for episode two of Boss Babe. So what I'm going to tell you guys in today's video is thumbnails and little tips and tricks to work iMovie. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just go right into this video. If you guys see me looking down, I do have a notebook because if I didn't, this video would be probably 9,000 years long. Um, but let's get started. So for the first thing that we're going to talk about is thumbnails. So I love using them in Fodor, but I also love using them in um, Fonto. So Fonto is something that I've recently discovered to do transitions and to do like the cool text that just popped up. So either or you can use both are super simple. Pretty much what you do with Fodor is it's already ready to made. So it's 1280 by 720 is the thumbnail um, screen that you guys need for your videos. So Fodor actually has it all ready to go for you. So all you need to go do is go on the website on Chrome on MacBook um, and set up your template. Then all you do is add your photos in, add your text, and you're done. You save it to your computer, then you add it onto your YouTube video. So there's that, or there's Fonto. So Fonto is actually a super cool app as well. You can use it on your cell phone. So all you do is you pop it up, you use the image that you would like, you add the text, you save it, and you airdrop it to your computer or send it to your email, whatever you would like. Then you add them onto your YouTube video. So that's super simple, super easy. Um, like I talked about in our last video, thumbnails are so important for the video. If the thumbnail is not good, no one's going to click on the video. So really try and focus on doing really good thumbnails um, because that's what's going to attract the people to watch your YouTube videos. Next, we're going to go into iMovie. So these are the little tips and tricks that I have been learning. Um, just a side note, the more you work and the more you practice, the better you'll get. It's something so simple with iMovie um, and you'll start to learn like the little tips and tricks. So first thing is just super simple. So it's cutting a clip. So for my computer, you right click, you see just say split clip and you're done. So let's say I'm stuttering and I'm like this. You can add them all together and it's done, just like this. I'm like this. So cutting clips can either take away words that you don't wanna say, you're stumbling, you're mumbling, or whatever, it's so easy to use. So the next thing is gonna be adding photos. So adding simple things like this, or like this, into your video is so simple. So all you do is you add the photo from either your desktop or whatever, so you add it into iMovie. Um, the first thing that you wanna do is just automatically go to the um, crop button and just click clip right away. Then you're going to go into picture, picture in picture, add it on, and then you'll get this little clip right here. So super easy, super simple, um, and it's a good little like add-in for your videos, and it kind of keeps people like more entertained. Next thing is adding transitions. So super simple. Again, you just go to iMovie, you click the transitions, and you um, add it into this, and it kind of, you can do anything. You can do white, fade into white, or you can do like this flip screen, you know, all that kind of stuff. So super easy. I'm gonna keep saying super easy, I do apologize. <laughs> um, the next thing is adding sound effects um, plus my Instagram. So as you guys noticed, probably at the beginning of the video when you guys clicked on it, I say, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And then I add my Instagram plus the little um, ding or whatever, the bottle cork. So all I do is it's actually on iMovie itself. So you go into music or audio, sorry, you click sound effects and you click bottle cork and then it will go like this. So super simple. And then I add also my Instagram swipe up by just doing screen record on my iPhone. Then I just add it in so it adds this like cool, like, I don't know, it looks like you're scrolling my Insta, which you should be, so go follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Next thing is the keyboards and cutting closer. So if you ever wanna go like something like that, add it close, close it in, all you gotta do is it's you crop the photo. So it's crop to fill. You drag the little icon up to the face a little bit closer to where you wanna boom or where you want it to pop, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom. So that's super simple and very easy, but it's a cool little transition, and it's a good, like, a nice little add-in for people. So if they're watching, like, a vlog, or if they're watching, like, a sit-down video, this is a good way to just be like, oh, switch it up, change the scene a little bit, and just get them more interested in the video. Okay, so the next thing is how I make my um, titles. So it is popping up right now. So I use Fonto again. So Fonto is a really cool app. It's just on my phone and you use the green screen. So what you do is you add on, go onto Fonto, you click add a photo. Um, it's just going to be a black screen. You're going to switch it to green and then you're going to add your text. So in there you can choose like the type of text, the kind of shadows it has, all that kind of stuff. And then you're just going to save it, 
airdrop it to your computer, add it into iMovie, and then you're gonna go into the little box and it says blue and green screens, I think, or something like that. You click it and it automatically takes away all the green and adds your beautiful wording right here. So it switches it up. Um, the titles on iMovie are so basic and so plain, so this is such an easy way to spice up your video. And like I said, just switch it up, so, and it's very easy. The last thing I'm going to talk about is copyright free music. Now this is super important for your videos. If you ever get a copyright claim, it's not good. So what I do is I go onto YouTube, I do aesthetically or aesthetic copyright free music and it pops up with a YouTube video. Mr. Bubby here was getting all antsy so he came to join the video. <laughs> Um, okay, so what I was talking about with copyright free music, so all you do once you find the right um, music that you would like is you go into another screen on your computer and just type in mp3 converter. Um, you copy the link from your YouTube video that you found, make sure it is copyright free. Sometimes I do want you to um, add their YouTube name in your description, so just be very careful and just make sure you follow their rules of using their music. But then you click into that and then download it to your computer, then you find it back in iMovie and boom, super simple, it's there. You can just click right into audio and it will already be popped up because the MP3 converter just saves it to your downloads and your audio on iTunes. So you just go right into iMovie, you'll notice it right on audio and then you can add it to your video. So that is pretty much what I do for iMovie, all my little tips and tricks, there's probably tons more and I will probably keep making these videos as I learn more. But that is it for now, so I really hope you guys like this video, and if you do, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. Every night, I'm going on the grid, texting back, I want you, hit you up, I'm on the other side, I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came your way to strong, cannot keep it low-key, got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof, oh.